I'm going to show you how to get timestamps on items when they come in and when they go out with a barcode scanner. Earlier I posted a video on how to enter timestamps when barcodes are scanned, but I've had inquiries about tracking both the arrival and departure of items with timestamps. So here on my sheet we have a list of barcodes. In cell B2 is where we're going to direct our scanner to put the results of a scan, which is normally a number. And so then when you click the button, so let me put in a number. So I'm going to put in um, 8888555566. And let's just assume that um, this is the barcode scanner. And I'm going to click away so that's in there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Enter. And now what it's done is it's put it in the list of barcodes and it's got a timestamp next to it for in. Now, if we find another one that we already have in our list, so I'm just going to copy this. So we're scanning our item for the second time and I'm going to paste it in here. And then I'm going to run this again. And so now what it's going to do is it's found our barcode. So it's assuming that the second time we've scanned this item, it's for outgoing. And you notice also that once both, both when it has found it and when it has not found it, it's deleted it from the incoming barcode cell here. So let's go and look at our code. So I've called myself in and out, um, dim, I've set, I've declared our, my barcode is a string, I've declared RNG as a range, I've de declared row number as long. Now I've set the barcode equals worksheet, sheet one, cells two, two, which is B2. Now what we're doing is um, we're going to set range is we're going to search through the list of barcodes that we already have on our sheet. And so this is a typical code for searching through the range. Now, if it doesn't find the range, then what it does is it finds the first empty column or the first empty cell in the column A. And then it's going to put the value of the barcode in that first, first empty cell in column A. And then it's going to offset by one to the right. So I have offset cell 0, 1 select and active cell value equals the date and timestamp. And then I tell it the name of the, uh, the format that I want this date and timestamp in. Now what the last thing it does is it's going to select my cell B, B2 and it's going to delete whatever we have in there. So the alternative is that it does find the barcode in the sheet. And then, if I'm, then we're going to say that that's the where it finds it is the row number. And then we're going to select that cell with the row number. And then we're going to offset by two to the right. And then we're going to do the same thing as we're going to put in the, the timestamp. And we're going to select the format for the timestamp. And then we're going to go back up the top and delete B2. So I will, of course, include this code in my description. And so that is how you track barcodes for in and out for items. Please subscribe.